So let's start with a bit of boat handling. We'll take a look at some of the basic turning and handling maneuvers we're likely to be carrying out during our journey. First of all, a bit of boating terminology. The front of the boat is the bow. The back of the boat is the stern. When you're at the stern of the boat looking forwards, the left hand side is port, the right hand side is starboard. Have you got that? Port, starboard, bow, stern. What could be simpler than that? Now, turning the boat around in a confined space. This is best carried out at as slow a speed as possible. First of all, we select neutral and apply full left hand steering lock. Now we select forward and apply a small burst of power for a few seconds. As we get close to the opposite bank, select reverse and use another small burst of power, leaving the steering on a full left lock. There's no flow of water over the rudder in reverse, so it will have little effect at the moment. In reverse, with the majority of the boats, the propeller causes the stern of the boat to swing to the right. This helps us by swinging the bow to the left, and that's why we always turn to the left. As the stern gets closer to the bank, but not too close as the bank is shallow and rocky, engage ahead and use another short burst of power. Lower the revs and centre the steering as the boat completes the turn. When you're in reverse, there's no water flow over the rudder to give you steering, and the turn of the propeller will always turn the boat to the right. So when you have to berth stern first, like here as we're approaching Urquhart Bay Harbour, or back at the boat yard, the way to do it is you turn the boat so that the stern faces the mooring point. It's as simple as that. We now set the steering straight ahead and engage reverse gear very gently increase the revs. As soon as the boat picks up speed, engage neutral. The boat will continue to move slowly backwards. Because we've stopped the propeller, the stern will not swing to the right. To keep the boat moving astern, we gently engage reverse for a few seconds and then go back into neutral. If the boat has thrusters, we can use them to keep the boat straight. Take your time and don't panic if you make a mistake. When you're learning to handle a boat, things don't always go perfectly the first time. So if you do make a mistake, the slower you go, the less damaging that mistake is going to be. Injuries and damage can occur if you're going too quickly. 